today's episode of Podsky Outdoors comes to you from Wisconsin, where we're fishing in the southern part of the state in this Lake Michigan tributary. And we have to apologize to you in advance. We didn't get what we wanted. By that, we mean we couldn't fly the drone simply because there were gale force winds most of the day. We couldn't do the normal filming because our, our good cameras would have got completely drenched. Several inches of rain fell today. Now, Big Boy called us and said, I know you guys aren't booked until later in the week, but get your tails here now. This river will be blown out by tonight for several days. We had three days to film amazing videos with him. It got cut down to about five hours. Oh, sorry. Woo. Big Wisconsin brown trout. Super windy, 30 mile per hour winds, but we're getting a few browns to bite here this morning. That was dope. Chris just had to make a phone call, and then we get a brown trout. That's nothing new. You, you Are you just, saying I'm on the phone a lot? Yeah, I mean, you are. <laughs> I mean, look at him. He's Am I nice on the phone more than Jenny? Yo, oh, yeah. Yep. Are you calling me a lady? Come on. Oh, God. You have lady tendencies. Holy. That's not a lady. Oh, I just stepped on a salmon. Big boy. You can grill that one up for your Chick fil A sandwich oh. later. Oh. <laughs> Practicing my new hold on fish. Beautiful buck brown. Gotta love it. Crappy weather, but we're starting to get him to bite. Hey, we're going to talk a little bit about my setup today. This is a 10 foot 6 striker rod, great drift rod. Just using braid 15 pound as my main line to slip float. And then just a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader down to my spawn sack, which is a size 8 single hook with some trout eggs tied up. As everyone knows, I love fishing spawn. I tie them all with Atlas, uh, Atlas Mike's netting. Um, as you can see, my two favorite colors are always chartreuse and pink. We used a lot of chartreuse today, so I'm a little bit light on it. Now with today, we've had a lot of rain, so I tied up about quarter size sacks. Um, I like a little bit bigger sacks here. We're fishing the root, it's a little dirtier. And uh, just a bigger sack, more eggs. Uh, it got some character in the water to get some bites. Look at that, peeling the drag out. Actually just switched up, put on a lure, a little bit of fire gel. Went out there about three times. We can see these browns, man. They're all over the place this morning, really pushing. God, that's a huge brown. That's a nice. Can't even see it, big boy. There he is. Oh my gosh. Ooh, there he is. That's what I came to Wisconsin oh. for. There it is. Talk about fire gel. This buck came in and just smashed that looter. L looter. That lure coated. Garlic fire gel rolled on it, come back around. Took off, man, had a little fight on my hand. And this guy, we're gonna be friends. Didn't I just say something that didn't come true? Yeah, yeah. Like, you said, you threw him that, that spinner 30 times, they don't want it. And guess what happened? Came Number 31, he ate it. He ate it, dude, right in the beach. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a big fish. Big boy, what you got going on over here? Almost fell down the hill. And three, two, look at the Oh God, that's a bright colored spinner. Look at him, bam! You know what's on this spinner too? Okay. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Was that a tarpon or is that a brown? <laughs> that's a big Wisconsin brown right there, friends. I don't know what's funny, man. Uh, wrestling with this fish right here and seeing a smack grizz. But <laughs> check out the hook on this guy, man. He's got like. There's like one big tooth right there in the middle, but you talk about a beautiful Wisconsin brown trout. These fish are thick. They are big bulldogs pulling me around down here. Check him out. As you can see on the video, Dustin caught all his fish casting a spinner. Size three meps, coated with the garlic fire gel. The thing that's nice about the fire gel is you just gotta put a dab, you know, put some dabs on the blade and on the bait. It's gonna last for a while. You can smell it. You can smell it in your hand. And it's nice because it's something different that these trout haven't seen and they like it. Big brown. Just drifting my favorite spot right up against the wall. We got a bunch of browns. 
They're all spawning up here. And then these browns are all like this. This Holy is, I'm sure this is a female. What the? Yeah, see? Just run, drift in the wall. I'm gonna go chase this one. Go ahead. Don't hurt yourself. I'll try. No, I don't have waders on, so I can't get in there. Uh, and what's interesting is, you know, this is the first time the wind has kind of settled down. Uh, this morning we had gale force, uh, anywhere from 30 to 50 mile an hour winds. We caught some fish, but filming in those conditions is not great. You know, one thing you'll learn is when you come to the Great Lakes like this and Wisconsin specifically, and you're, you're from other parts of the country, you can't pick your days where it's gonna be perfect weather. You gotta just accept what you get and hope that you get into some really nice. Kyle, this one's gonna be a good one, I have a feeling. It's a big one. Wow. Really nice fish, but uh, you know, this is Great Lakes fishing. Well, we didn't know if we were gonna get snow today, freezing rain, hail, sleet. Uh, honestly, we didn't know what it was, but what I know is, see that? Those are not waders. I didn't bring waders because we thought we were gonna be on the bank. Kyle's out in the middle grabbing that fish, and uh, I just can't go out there after it. All right, here we go, a little net action. But once again, uh, we came back after lunch. We heard earlier today, there were probably 25 to 40 people here, even with the terrible conditions. Just shows you, you live in the Great Lakes, you're used to the elements, and now we're used to catch a big trout. Big boy, big trout. Big brown trout. I mean, you can't beat it. I hate to say it, we gotta be the brown capital of the world. You can't beat this Wisconsin brown trout big fish we're just spoiled here today was a very interesting day here and what i mean by that is obviously this is fall brown trout fishing in wisconsin and the wisconsin area down here is known for some of the best brown trout fishing in north america that's no exaggeration folks everybody knows from milwaukee all the way up to port washington you know maybe even up into green bay all the way down to winthrop harbor down in illinois there is world-class brown trout fishing available, really some of the best in North America. Now, that was the interesting part. Today was not easy for us, and we're just gonna be brutally honest here, and anybody that's been to this area before will be able to attest to this and understand what we're talking about. What I mean by that is, there were so many people when we got here lining that these fish were spooked. And I mean spooked beyond belief. There were probably a dozen people in the stream just ripping, lining, doing anything they can to hook a brown trout. Actually, we saw one guy leave with 50 pounds between five fish in a garbage bag. Hey, you know what? You're allowed to take that. There's nothing we can do about that. We choose to release those fish. Not everybody does. That's your prerogative. But lining fish makes it difficult because it scares and spooks those fish. That's why we only caught, oh, say, eight to 10 fish today. And I know that sounds like, oh, that's terrible. No, here it's not an amazing day because there are so many fish. What we were able to do is find areas where the fish were not being harassed. A lot of those were deeper sections of water where the liner couldn't necessarily see those fish. And the best part about it was later in mid morning as rain got higher, it brought the water levels up higher. It allowed those fish to be less visible for guys that were lining. And when that happened, we started to catch more and more fish. Now, you'll see that Big Boy caught his browns on trout eggs tied in Atlas Mike's netting. Now, he does that every day of the year. If you fished with him, you'll see canisters loaded with these spawn sacks. Now, Dustin caught all but one of his fish on spinners coated in garlic fire gel. Why did he use garlic? Open the jar, folks. Smell it. What do you smell? That's the strongest garlic smell ever. And this little off-colored water and with the turbidity going on, it was the perfect recipe for us to land some world-class browns in terrible conditions. Now, we hope to come back and fish with Big Boy again, where we get a full trip in. This one was not that, but it ended up being a day that most would never forget. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, 
make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. Big Wisconsin brown trout. Hard to beat these fish. We're getting, we're getting kind of, Jesus Christ. <laughs>